morning, everybody. This is Bob Iacchino from Path Trading Partners along with Mike Arnold. A quick update on a stock we've been watching since the inception of the Money Path podcast, Bank of America, BAC. Um, they had earnings yesterday and they reported 40 cents on revenue of 19.9 billion. Street was expecting about 38 cents, so they beat on the top line, but they missed a little on the bottom line. Street was looking for about 20.85 billion in revenue, although they did say they expected to earn an additional 600 million uh, on the rate hike that happened, the 25 basis point rate hike. So that'll be over the uh, forward 12 months. I'm gonna turn it over to Mike to show you what he's seeing on his uh, motive wave chart there. Okay, everyone. Thank you, Bob. This is, as Bob just said, uh, Bank of America in our Motive Wave software. We have it on a weekly basis with rising rotation zone, the orange and blue lines. You can clearly see we have a double top pattern that fits into our parameters. We also have our projections downward, and you'll notice our full target is well within the rotation zone also so we can either take a two target or one target trade based off this weekly setup let me drop down to the daily real quick so here we have the daily the rotation zone is out of the way we are watching for a potential trigger we need a close below this 2177 mark it will not be triggered without a close this is still a potential double top because we have not traded below and it will be a triggered double top if we close below. Now you can also see our two targets here to 175 and 200. I would take this as a two target trade just because of this flat area right around the 175. So if this does trigger, my first target would be the 2056 level, the second target would be the 2015 level. If this does rotate back up and makes a third top, then it will not be a double top anymore and this is an invalid setup so we'll have to continue to watch this unfolding price action however due to that pretty big sell off yesterday it got fairly close to the base of this double top so we thought we'd update you we also talked about this on our podcast number 54 done on january 13th so if you don't listen to that you should subscribe and we will update it again on podcast number 55 this coming friday which will be january 20th thanks everyone for tuning in and i will talk to you soon All right, thank you, Mike. A couple of things to take out of the Bank of America conference call. Uh, their short interest has no noticeably dropped. As of the most recent settlement data, the shares sold short are down to 108 million from 138.4 million. That theoretically means if the volume has been steady that there's more longs, which could kind of help this push to Mike's targets if the longs were to start to dump shares. So you do want to see short, short shares declining in the settlement data when you're looking at a potential trigger for a downward move because that means generally there's more longs. There's usually more longs in equities, but just so you know, the short sellers won't be buying them back to hold it up if there's fewer short sellers. Um, secondly, the interest rate rise, like I said, about 600 million to next year's, that'll be the whole 12 months. So the market is not taking too much from that number as if they're going to earn another 600 million immediately. And interest rate could change, they could earn even more than that. So that's something else to look at. Also, their mandatory capital has shrunk. There's a mandatory capital level that the big banks need to keep and it's based on their size and complexity. Bank of America has been re working really, really hard to make themselves a little bit more simple in order to have to hold less capital, which is a good thing because that means they can lend more. Anyway, we're not trading off of any of that. We're trading off of the price action triggers that Mike described, and we'll see you guys in the next update. Thank you.